about what you've seen so far from your guys? Oh, right now, it's just getting lined up and communication. Um, right now, I, I, I'm loving the uh, guys uh, coming out, working hard, and um, and communicating. Um, we're going against a high tempo offense. Uh, going to give you everything every day. So for those guys lining up and knowing knowing the correct calls to make, um, getting that defense lined up, and then playing hard. Hey, Deontay Williams, um, you know, he came in safety in corner. How, how are you guys using him right now this spring? Uh, Deontay is one of the kids that can play multiple positions right now. He's playing corner and safety. Um, when we start nickel, we'll be able to, we'll be able to um, put him at the nickel spot too. He can pretty much he can, he can cover. He can come down and, and cover on number two. He can go out wide and play um, play some corner. Uh, very physical. It's going to be able to add a lot to us in the um, run game, too, as well. And then Breon Dixon, how, how do you guys use him right now? Breon is as the linebacker. Linebacker, okay. Yeah, Breon is the linebacker. So he, he moves like a DB, but he's a linebacker. Outside? Yes. With a guy like Williams, do you worry about throwing too much at him right away? Which Williams? Oh, Deontay. Deontay? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, we spent a lot of time. We spent a lot of time in, um, in the film room. The thing about it is not about throwing it at him because if I'm throwing it at him, I'm throwing it at the rest of them too. They all learn the defense at the same time. Uh, nobody got the edge on nobody. Um, so everybody's learning the defense at the same time. What did you see from Lamar Jackson so far? Uh, right now, just, just, uh, just adding to Lamar's game and, and, and just teach him how to be a pro. Just teach him how to be a pro. Teach him how to line up, uh, sharpen up his technique, um, putting him in situations that make him tackle better, um, just making him all around complete player and, and, a, and a great teammate. What have you learned about this group maybe that you didn't know that it's kind of maybe surprised you at this point? Oh, these guys are smart. Uh, these guys are smart. Um, one thing about it, I tell you, these safeties, these safeties that we got, um, we, we ask a lot of those guys. Those guys got to get us, get us lined up. Um, um, every play, they got to get us lined up as far as coverage. And so those guys are very smart. They're able to pick things up. Um, overall, as a secondary, um, these guys as a whole secondary are very smart. Um, so you can throw the whole book at these guys and they'll pick it up. Uh, Aaron Williams is really, is really sharp. Um, Antonio Reed is really sharp. Um, I have some walk-on kids that are really smart. Sullivan and those guys are, are really smart. Um, uh, as a whole group, to be honest with you, as a whole group, I, I, I think that all the safeties are pretty sharp. So your safeties have five safeties coaches out of the big groups. I don't know if they've told you The corners have had four. How do you build trust with guys that have had a revolving number of coaches at their, at their position? Some of these guys have, have basically been with a different coach each year. How do you build trust yeah. with them? It, you know, honestly, it, 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 it's tough for those guys, but honestly, it's about it's about showing these guys, you know, you can talk to these guys so they face turn blue, uh, but it's about showing them, you know, uh, pop some film up of myself doing it maybe, uh, pop some film in of, of us doing it, uh, us being successful with it, and then pop some film up with us not being successful with it. And usually, usually guys will buy in once they see both sides of it. Both they see you fail and they see you succeed, so they understand both sides of it. So it's not really hard for these guys are hungry. Uh, one good thing about it, you know, these guys are hungry now. So um, they are, I know I'm probably the fifth or sixth coach. I don't know, but but I can't tell it. These guys are these guys are hungry. Do you see Do you see something in in the safeties, physicality, or seasoning uh, Right now. Um, we yeah, haven't done a lot of, a lot of full tackle to the ground. Um, when we get our first scrimmage, I'll be able to tell a little bit more. But for right now, they're flying around like they mean, they mean bad intentions. Um, so I bet to see once we go live um, and really see these safeties really throw it around. Both Lamar and Eric said they they like that you're telling them we just want you to make plays so and that you want them to play a little bit more free. Based on what you saw on tape last year from some of those guys, what's the difference from maybe what they were trying to do last year and what you want them to do? Yeah, this year, I, 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 you know, um, I thought last year just watching them on film, um, whether they were coached like that or they decided to play like that, I don't know. 
but on film they played a little soft. Um, um, scared to go get the ball. Uh, playing loose coverage, you know, not really squeezing and, and squeezing that receiver, um, plastering the route. Um, so this year, definitely, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm letting these guys, you know, freely go make a play. Like, go, don't no fear of failure. Just go out and make a play. Um, the big thing about it is I'm teaching them why. You know, you're not going to fly around at secondary trying to go make a play and doing somebody else's job. You're going to know your job. You're going to know why, but you're going to have confidence to go make a play. Um, it's still, it's still